Hi, and welcome to the how-to series presented by Fresh Service, your guide to best practices for ITSM and ITOM. My name is Chad Hafterson, and I'm here to share with you the how-to topic, improve agent productivity and efficiency with Fresh Service predictive intelligence. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna talk about key challenges faced by agents today and how Fresh Service can help you solve those problems. So one of those is finding relevant solutions from a whole bunch of different options. So you've got solution articles, you've got canned responses, you've uh, potentially got tickets that are in the system already. How do you choose from which ones, all the ones that are out there, which ones are most relevant to a particular customer and do it quickly so you're solving the customer's issue quickly? Because at the same time, customers and employees want their res resolutions as quickly as possible so they can get back to their work. So there's a natural tension between those. At the same time, agents are also are often asked to solve repetitive, low impact problems. That takes a lot of time and takes away time from solving the more complex, more difficult problems that, that really slow users down. And then finally, agents are often working in different silos, even on similar types of tickets. So wouldn't it be great if we could identify where there's overlap in what different agents are working on, or maybe even where there's overlap in what a particular requester has requested across a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different agents. We're gonna talk about all of those today. And we're gonna talk about four ways to increase agent productivity by using predictive intelligence, which is a, a new, feature built into Fresh Service. We leverage AI predictive models, uh, artificial intelligence. We basically go through and look at your historical ticket data and then make suggestions about how to default values into fields or how to suggest different solution articles or canned responses to more quickly solve tickets. The nice thing about this is it's available to all customers on enterprise plans. There's no additional add-ons or anything else you have to purchase. It's just something you can add on, unlike a lot of the competitive solutions out there. The first area we're gonna talk about today is automatically categorizing, prioritizing, and routing tickets using Field Suggester. This, like I said before, goes through and it analyzes historical ticket data. It looks at that ticket data and then it makes suggestions for some of the common fields like category, urgency, impact that you fill out on a particular ticket. While that doesn't seem like it, do, it can do a lot, if you're processing a whole bunch of tickets, even if you're saving a few seconds per ticket, that adds up to a lot of time over, over a month or over a year for an IT organization for, as you add up across all of the different agents that are in the system. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is move to our ticket in a submission screen. So this is fresh service. I'm sitting on a standard ticket submission screen. All I have to do here is select a requester that I'm gonna submit this on behalf of. And let's say I'm having a problem connecting to uh, Wi-Fi. So all I have to do is give it this tiny bit of information and the field suggestions capability is gonna kick right in and help me fill out the rest of the data here. You'll notice here on the right side of the screen, under field suggestions, I have a number of suggestions. These are the items highlighted in yellow, a number of suggestions that will highlight what historical tickets have been categorized with or have been set to urgency impact and priority with across these different historical tickets. So now I have defaults. I can simply click update and save all those defaults. I can change them if I want to. One other key thing to point out, you'll notice group is blank. Well, what that means is we don't just make suggestions for you, regardless of what the data looks like. We actually want those suggestions to be accurate because we want the agents to believe in them and actually, actually use those recommendations that we have. So if we don't have a good recommendation, we don't give you one. We, we make that blank. And let me show you a little bit about how you can control that too. If I go into administration and I come down here to field suggester, You'll notice that we have a number, all the different areas where we can suggest field values. We tell you right off the bat, you know, how accurate we are at the suggestions that we propose. So in this case, agents have accepted our suggestions 100% of the time for these particular items. On any of these particular items as well, I can drill in and I can see, you know, or I can set values for when I want to make a suggestion. So I don't want to, I don't want inaccurate, or I want to suggest something is inaccurate when there's no chance that it's actually been used, when 
payment tickets is actually suggested, I'm going to say we're 80% accurate and I'm going to use that particular suggestion going forward. So you have control over these thresholds of when you're actually going to use this. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. Already submitted or what other tickets that are similar may have already been suggested as well. So let me show you how that works. So here's another example, same ticket we were looking at before. The difference here is I'm looking at the, the Freddy suggestion screen where it shows me similar instance. It's blinking here to show me that there's something interesting here, but automatically as this was submitted, you can see all the defaults over here on the right again, it's showing me tickets that are similar to the one that I just created. In this case, you know, here I have a whole bunch that are exactly the same. This is a demo environment and I've got a bunch that are for the same type of, I can't connect my laptop to Wi-Fi. There's a number of things I can do here. I can assign this to myself so that uh, I just close this ticket off right away. I can click into it and drill into the ticket itself to see what's going on with that ticket. Or I can say, you know what, this doesn't want to make sense. So I mark it as irrelevant. And then that trains the model going forward. So it, re it recognizes that while those, the language may be the same, this is a completely different kind of ticket. So I'm not going to consider this a similar incident in the future. Moving on to the third and fourth areas, there's a couple other key areas we address here. One is providing quick first response to customers using pre-saved suggestions of canned response suggestions. With these, we provide, we provide again, looking at historical data, which canned suggestions you may be able to just quickly select and send off to the user to solve their particular problem. Similarly, we have solution article suggestions, which do the same thing. They'll recommend relevant documents and solutions using our solution article suggestions, looking at what, what matches. This one's more of a text-based match versus looking just at historical data, but it, it makes suggestions for you. So again, automatically as an agent, as I'm creating things, it automatically makes those suggestions for me. And let me show you these really quick. Okay, in this case, I've submitted a ticket that, that basically just says I need to reset my AD password. And it's come up with two suggestions in this case. Same place that you'd have similar incidents if those were found here. There aren't any found here. So I've got a number of solution articles you know, that, that match some of the keywords and match some of the, the historical data that I have in the system. Here's one, how to reset your AD password. This one looks pretty similar. If I click on that, it gives me several options. It shows me the, the text of the solution article. It also allows me to insert the URL or insert the content directly into the ticket, in which case it's sent on to the user. Similarly for canned responses, I have uh, one here for resetting your AD password. Again, I can click into that. It shows me all the steps the user has to go through to reset their AD password. And all I have to do is click to insert that into the ticket and boom, it's sent off to the user. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about a couple of other things and then we can wrap for today. The uh, other bonus tip that we want to talk about a little bit is while everything we've talked about today is mostly focused on improving agent productivity and making them process tickets faster, we have a faster way to improve service for your employees as well. And that's our virtual agent, which can actually deflect tickets before they even get to agents in the first place. So virtual agent without doing any setup or work on your side already knows how to read using AI and natural language processing, knows how to read through your service requests and your solution articles and serve those back to your employees based on natural language questions that they ask. So it allows your agents to focus on high value tasks that they, that they like working on better, but also are more, more productive for the organization. We're gonna be having an upcoming how-to talk on this on the 15th of July, and the registration link is, is down below if you'd like to check that out. So again, we talked about some key areas and how we, we use our predictive intelligence capabilities to help improve the, pro the productivity of agents. We talked about reducing ticket handling time, how you can save agents time and effort, how you duplicate how you eliminate duplication of efforts using or looking at similar incidents and how you can increase customer satisfaction by quickly responding and, and shortening the turnaround times to your requesters. A great example of this is one of our customers, Aramex. They've improved agent productivity by 50% with Fresh Service, which really helps them foster a culture, culture of innovation within the organization. 
with using fresh service, they've seen ticket resolution time drop 35% and they've seen a savings of over $56,000. And then finally, I'd like to uh, again remind you that these predictive intelligence capabilities are available for free to all fresh service customers in our enterprise plan. So go ahead and go check those out. And also, if you are not a fresh service customer today, feel free to go tr check all this out in a 21 day free trial. And the sign up link is listed here. Thank you for your time and now we can take some questions.